question for you, Moses. I'd love to hear from your perspective as country director. We at the heart are very excited to step into this partnership with World Relief mm -hmm. and with World Relief Rwanda in particular. Mm -hmm. What comes to your mind when you think about what is most important for a church partner to be aware of as they step into partnership with World Relief Rwanda and, and what makes the most effective church partner in your mind? Mm. Um, hmm. They're quite uh, a lot, but one of the things, uh, maybe I can say two or three, but one uh, that we've seen really um, valuable to us is uh, holding each other in prayer. Mm. We know the church uh, in the U.S. Uh, needs prayer and the church in Africa needs prayer, more especially in Rwanda, because we have issues uh, in the community that are affecting our members. And we know that uh, the more we depend on prayer, it becomes to be priority and foundational to all the work that we are doing. So that is very important. We've had times to pray for one another, prayer requests from your church, and then prayer requests from from. Um, Rwanda. Mm -hmm. And then the other has been mutual um, learning, whereby we've seen that uh, the people from the US, from our church partners, they come to Rwanda and they are blessed by the people of Rwanda. But also the people of Rwanda are blessed by the people that are coming from our partnering church. And that will be through um, exchange of skills, praying together, crying together. Um, encouraging one another that all these things uh, in one or another uh, really help and by sharing the resources that God has given us then we are able to edify and strengthen one another as a body uh, of Christ and then um, lastly uh, one of the things that I've also seen has been uh, um, being uh, in the place where um, we are not only uh, working together but there are also resources that you have uh, as an institution. You have skilled people in this area that they can come and help uh, our staffing here. We have seen that through the capacity building for our staff, through maybe the staff retreats. It could be in the community. It could be specific training uh, given to uh, pastors that are struggling in one area that we've identified. And then you're able to identify these areas of growth and then we can... Uh, venture into that again depending on the giftings uh, that uh, you have yeah mm. 